Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Andy here, back with yet another simple pop in your pimple, 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Neon Law, a walking simulator developed and published by PlayStation Interactive, and is usually available for a deliciously tiny $4.99. This is, as I said, a walking sim, set in a cyberpunk kind of world, and it is very good looking. I, I actually love this type of world, so to look at is beautiful. And in terms of gameplay, it's, well, it's a walking simulator. Uh, but it does have interesting stories if you're interested in reading all the dialogue, which I do recommend doing. It's up to you anyway. But if you just want the 15 minute achievement slash platinum, then all we have to do is talk to every person in the game and interact with four consoles. We can simply press the second option when near one to say, no, take me to my audiobook now. And that's that. So, 15 minutes, new 1K, new Platinum, although I should point out, on PlayStation there are 45 trophies, whereas on Xbox there's only 12 achievements. I've got no idea why that is, but it's still an easy completion nonetheless. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, one thing I should mention before we begin, our character, we'll call him Mr. Law, Neon, first name Neon, uh, kind of walks like we crapped our pants and we're walking on broken glass, walk in on broken glass even. We walk here very, very slow and there's no option to run. So, as we begin, use the right stick to turn around, walk up to this character, and this is where we should unlock our first achievement. Now we can go to the left and talk to this guy sitting down, the old X-Men dude. This is how we talk to people in the game. We just walk up to them, as long as the dialogue automatically comes up there, then you should be good to go. So, head to the left towards the big east quarter sign. Uh, again, not a lot that's really going on. Walking up to characters automatically produces the dialogue, which you can read or you can just go up to them and carry on. Talk to sitting down lazy ass woman with... Are, th are those dildos around here? Or is that spray cans? Anyway, go towards the East Quarter and you'll see a sign. Uh, sorry, I pressed it a bit quick there saying travel to East Quarter. Say yes, because of course that is what we want to do. Um, and, well, welcome to the East Quarter, I suppose. But what we're going to do is turn all the way, well, around or slightly to the left. And we're going to see um, Bouncer Lady kind of thing. I don't know what to call them, so I'm just going to make it up as I go along. So, I'll uh, just walk up to her, get the um, dialogue going, and then just carry on. Next to these bins, we are going to see uh, Patrick Star going a bit, bit, of, bit of diving, dumpster diving. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> get that dialogue, and then we can just turn back around. And we are going to turn the corner here. Yes, now you know what I mean by it genuinely feels like we crapped our pants and just constantly walking on broken glass. It's slow. It's very, very slow to say the least. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there eventually. So we're just going to head all the way down here, heading towards the bus stop. And as you can see, a couple of people here. So talk to um, pretend motorbike VR person and the next one, the uh, legendary Mohawk. And then into the bus stop, you should see Gimp Mask Boy. There you go. Looking good. Looking good, everyone. So that should be three people that you talk to there before we can just head down. Keep heading towards the no entry sign. Hey, don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm a grown, fully fledged man. We don't need no woman. Except I do, because I crap my pants continuously without a woman. Yeah, that's for another story. Anyway, here's another guy on the right. Uh, kind of looks like, um, yeah, that's Tom Clancy's splinter cell right there. So speak to, uh, speak to uh, Tom Clancy's splinter cell before turning around. And sitting down right next to this A Anarchy sign is another woman sitting down chilling. Right, from here we can go into this door. Just walk straight into it, it'll automatically happen. This is where we're going to find the first sort of uh, terminal slash console slash whatever the hell you want to call it. So head down here. There's going to be an open door that we can go through eventually. Um, very eventually. As I said, it's a, <laughs> it's a long walk. <laughs> we do lots of walking. Not much reward, apart from all the achievements and trophies, of course. So here is one guy that we're going to uh, speak to. He's just chilling on his phone. His missus is shouting at him, probably, for being bald. And then going through this open door and speak to the guy's missus, who is also bald. Awesome. From here, we can just head back out to the hallway, carry on going down. 
Not that there's anything wrong with bald men and women, of course. And head through this door, which says Exit Life at the top. And there's a couple more people to speak to in here. One is just... Well, I wonder what she was doing, sitting down... Wait, wait, where's your hands, love? Anyway, after you speak to her, you'll get an achievement, and we're going to interact with this console. Now, this is where we interact with the console and choose the second option. If you say yes, I want to solve it, you have to do a puzzle, but if you say no, give me my audiobook right now, it'll give us the audiobook straight away, and with that, you can press um, right on the D-pad to listen to it if you want, but what we're going to do is press the X slash square button just to go into the main menu uh, or to the settings option and go back to the main menu. So rather than mess around, we're going to go back up and we're just going to start a new game. Just saves a lot of messing around. So start new game again. And so as we begin then, what we're going to do is basically just head straight ahead. Not towards the West Quarter, we're just going to uh, interact with Splinter Cell, check, sitting on the lamppost. Oh, sorry, that's, I, I don't know who the hell that is. Anyway, interact with her and then turn around towards the West Quarter sign, but interact with and speak to um, this guy who seemingly been stabbed in the face with, um, <laughs> with paint or whatever. Now we can head towards the West Quarter. When the sign comes up, just press the Yes button, of course, to travel to the West Quarter. That makes sense. So let's do some more well, walking around is it, I suppose. Not a lot else to do, but I tell you what, this game does look fantastic, I'll give it that. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to go straight and we're going to talk to this Lyadia on the left next to the press here sign. There we go. Hello, redhead. Fiery redheads. We're going to turn around. We're basically going to go into this uh, sort of bar area, shop area, whatever you want to call it, bar. Speak to one of the couple of people in here. One, we've got pink head. And on the left, we've got Robot Head. That's a great looking Robot Head, buddy. So make sure to talk to those two, and then we can head back out. Again, remember to speak to Red Head there on the left. What are you waiting for, a bus? <laughs> I don't know why that was a joke among kids. Anyway, uh, we're just going to keep on going straight, and you can see some guy trying to take his money out, or some ladia. Oh, that's uh, Will Smith's missus, before Will Smith slaps everyone for making fun. Please don't slap me, Will Smith. Uh, right, anyway, from there, we're going to go to the right slightly. We're going to speak to uh, this chick. Happy days. Turn around. And we are going to go sort of back on ourselves. But we are going to start heading up towards the steps on the left. So you can see them right there. Uh, again, try and run away from Will Smith if you can, if you do make any jokes um, about, the, I suppose, any bald people. Uh, Will Smith apparently does not like that. So run away from Will Smith here, all the way up the steps. Get away from me, Will Smith. My name's not Chris or Rock. Turn around and here we're going to see, oh God, don't make fun of his head. Will Smith's coming for you. Anyway, speak to this guy, Dante Ju, And then speak to this lady, Yuria Kerensky sitting on the floor. For some reason, I've only just noticed the names at the top of every dialogue option. So, well, that's good of me, isn't it? So, going across this bridge, we're going to speak to... Don't make fun of her head. We're going to speak to Chelsea right here. Uh, so, again, just make sure that the dialogue option comes up before moving on. And then we're going to speak to this robot dude, Susan Merritt. That's not a very robotic name. Anyway, head straight through to the door. And we've got a console in here, but immediately to the right, sitting down, is Splinter Cell Guy, Drake Avizon. Great name, bud. Now we can interact with the uh, console again. Remember, all we've got to do is just say, no, give me my um, audiobook now, which will always, always be the second option, by the way. And then as soon as you've done that, you should unlock the achievement there for speaking to Drake, and you should unlock the achievement for getting the... Uh, console. So now we can go back to the main menu, sorry, start a new game. For some reason, could not think of what the hell I was on about there. And when we are back in the new game, we're just going to go straight forward. We've got, still got quite a few people to speak to here, uh, with roughly about five minutes left. So keep on heading for, uh, forward, trying to get yourself all sparked on the fire. But just past these cars and on the right right here, we have a potential roid head. He looks like he's got some epic abs. Big Eddie. Uh, Go forward and sort of to the left, we're going to see someone squatting, possibly taking a poop in a public area, which is not good there, Mr. Looks like Valentino Rossi, but your name is Rally. 
Insomnia patient, that's why he's taking a dump, makes sense. Right, from here, head towards the North Quarter sign, and just by these two futuristic looking cars, or whatever they are, is another Lydia. Damn, she's Gimp Lydia. And then towards the left, we can see Bald Fat Security Yard right here, so we're going to speak to him, old John Doe. Well, and that's as boring as you can get for a name, right? Go to the left anyway, and enter through the door. So this will be the third out of the fourth console that we're going to do. So, head to the left, and there is going to be an open door on our right. This open door on our right. So, go through the open door on our right. The console is immediately in front of us. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Second option, no, give me my audio back. Now, 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 now. Okay, make sure to speak to dude sitting in the um, chair right there, Big Todd. <laughs> Big Todger. Sorry. Anyway, now we can head back out of the same way that we came in. Point the arrow, or go the same way as the arrow. We're going left. And there's another arrow telling us to go down. Now, would you follow it in real life? Well, of course you would. Um, because in horror films we die, but in real life we don't. Anyway, we're just going to go back to uh, back past Fat John Doe there and travel to the south quarter this time. Sorry, John, though. I tried to make you very interesting. Yeah, I mean, you, you've you probably got a couple of quid on you. Anyway, immediately turn around, do a 360, and we're going to speak to another bald guy, Ivan Brodsky, great name. Go to the right, or sort of turn to the left, but on the, his, on Ivan's right, Ivan's right, there is this guy with the, the weird paint on his face again. Turn to the left from here, and we're going to see someone who is... Well, she's scantily dressed as it was, Nicole Kawagami, and we're going to get an achievement for that as well, before heading straight and speaking to Will Smith's other missus. I don't know, I, I assume that's how it all goes down, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, they've got loads of boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff, anyway. So make sure you've spoken to those four people there, to get another, well, four trophies at least. Uh, go past, the, you'll get something that's just a little thing you don't have to worry about that speak to the robot there on the left now we can head to the right uh, i just had a look but it uh, behind me in case it was a person but it was just a like letter newspaper lamppost or whatever so keep on going straight in this parking lot next to this big bit of graffiti is yet another bald man and that should be that go to the left and we can see someone else now a lot of bald people in this uh, dystopian cyberpunk future i'm up all for that since i'm already basically there. So from here we can just go to the left, past the Burger Palace here on our left hand side. God damn could do with a cheeky Burger Palace right in here. And as we can see we've got um, a door to enter on our left, but before that, just by the bin, I don't know who you're hoping to pick up there, my lovely girl, but it, you ain't gonna pick up anyone. But anyway, speak to her before heading through the door. Almost done. This is the last room. On your left is the next and final console. Again, no, give me my audiobook now, 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 now. And that will unlock. Turn, uh, do a 360 and speak to yet another bald dude. It's just easier to be bald, isn't it? You don't have to buy shampoo and stuff. And go, um, basically go straight all the way to the back area of this room. And we are going to see our last character that we speak to. So when you speak to her, you should unlock the final achievement on your Xbox. And you should unlock the final trophy on your PlayStation as well. There it is. Thank you, Amy Barnes, ex-virologist. Why is that? Who, what, what virus is you sticking into people, Ames? Anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. So, 15 minutes, nice and easy, although rather slow. Um, 12 out of 12 on Xbox, 45 on the PlayStation. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. Of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.